Hey agents, it's Manny, and welcome to another Division Bootcamp video. Calculating total weapon damage is pretty straightforward, but there are a few different things that you'll need to know in order to make the calculations. So in this video, I'll show you how weapon damage is computed in Division 2. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to run with, you can also find me and other agents on the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. Okay, so there's a ton of videos out there claiming to be the best build video this and the best build video that. But are they really the best build videos or are they just clickbait? I feel the best can be very subjective and there are a bunch of different factors to take into consideration. First and foremost is your play style. Are you a body shot person or can you snipe headshots like nobody's business? Can you hit every shot or do you miss every other shot? This is an important factor to consider but is best for you. There are certain talents that have the highest damage output but they may require you to make every shot and you might be better off with a talent that's slightly lower modifier that is always active even if you miss shots. Since I believe a lot of these videos are subjective in nature, I'm going to arm you with enough knowledge so that you can make an objective decision about which builds output the most damage. There are two different types of damage multipliers. The first one is the additive multiplier and it is fairly simple to calculate. You just add the two percentages together before multiplying it by your base value. To show an example, we're going to increase 250 by 15 and 25%. Going forward, we're going to be using parentheses to preserve order of operation. And you need to add 1 to the percentage when increasing a number by that amount. So, 1 plus 0.15, which is 15%, plus 0.25, which is 25%, times 250 equals 350. The types of damage that are additive in the Division 2 as of Title Update 9 are weapon damage, plus specific weapon type damage, such as rifles, ARs, SMGs, and certain weapon talents. I'll discuss which ones a little bit later. Crit hit damage and headshot damage are additive to each other. The chest talent focus and the backpack talent vigilance are also additive to each other. There may be a few others I'm missing. Let me know in the comments below if I did miss any. The second type of multiplier is the multiplicative multiplier. And as multiplicative suggests, we multiply the numbers together. Let's take the same numbers we use in the additive example and instead compute them as if they were multiplicative. So we take one plus 0.15, which is a 15%, times that by 1 plus 0.25, which is a 25%, multiply that by 250, and it equals 359.38. Most of the damage types I've not already mentioned in the additive section are multiplicative. For example, out of cover damage, damage to armor, damage to health, any chest or backpack talent that says amplified damage is also multiplicative. Now, knowing which talents are multiplicative and which are additive to weapon damage can be a bit confusing, so I want to use this rule of thumb. A modifier is multiplicative if you need the round to hit the target before being able to calculate the damage. An additive modifier is if the damage can be computed before the round leaves the weapon. Let's take a look at a couple of weapon talents to demonstrate what I mean about calculating before the round hits the target versus being able to calculate before it leaves the weapon. Take a weapon talent like Ranger. It says amplifies weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you're away from your target. First of all, it has the word amplify in it, so this is multiplicative. But there's also no way for the game to know how far the target is from you until the round hits the target. So therefore, this type is multiplicative. If you have a talent such as Boomerang, which says critical hits have a 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine, if the bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has plus 40% increase in damage. So no matter what happens next, if a bullet is returned to the magazine, we get plus 40% damage increase. This means it's additive to weapon damage because there are no other modifiers. The game can compute damage before the round leaves the weapon. Let's now look at our weapons. All weapons of the same type have the same base damage, but the number you see here is not the base damage. It includes your weapon damage modifier and specific weapon type damage modifier. And in this case, it's a rifle. In order to see the base damage, you must press X to open the options and then turn on show base damage. Now when we look at the weapons, we'll see the calculated total weapon damage and the base damage. The base damage for the M1A Classic is 235,100. It's rounded, so the calculations will be a bit off but should not be by much. Now let's go into our stats and check out what the total weapon damage and rifle damage percentages are. I have 96% all weapon damage bonus and 40% rifle damage bonus. As we discussed earlier, these two values are additive, so they'll be added together before being multiplied by the base damage. So to calculate, it'll be 1 plus 0.96 plus 0 0.40 times 235,100, and this equals 554,836 total damage. If we had the exact base damage and not a rounded value, we'd get the exact total damage from the stats page, which is 554,741. It's pretty close. 
Now that we know the basics of additive versus multiplicative multipliers, let's calculate out a few values and then test them out on the range. I've switched out a few pieces of gear to minimize the bonus damage. I've equipped a rifle with vindictive talent, so I won't have to worry about any additional weapon damage, which means I can use the total damage value for the rifle and not worry about the rounding from using the base damage value. Let's now grab a few values from the stats page. As I just mentioned, we're gonna use a total damage value that already has all damage bonus and rifle damage bonus already baked in, so it'll help alleviate some of the rounding errors if we use the base damage of the rifle. We'll also need crit hit damage, headshot damage, and damage to armor. There are two other pieces of gear that we'll need to pull values off of. The first one is the coyote's mask. I'm gonna set the range to five meters to keep things consistent, so at five meters, the coyote's mask will give us an additional 25% crit hit damage. The last piece we need to look at are my knees. I have the Fox Prayer knees, which have 8% damage to targets out of cover, and the targets of the range are considered out of cover. And this value is not displayed anywhere on the stats page. We're going to first compute four values. I have also set the range to named enemies, so all these values will also have damage to armor computed in as well. The four values are non-crit headshots, crit headshots, non-crit body shots, and crit body shots. To compute non-crit headshots, we'll take our headshot damage, which is 1 plus 0 0.604, multiply it by out of cover, which is 1 plus 0 0.08, multiplied against damage to armor, which is 1 plus 0 0.14, multiplied with vigilance, which is 1 plus 0.25, multiplied by total weapon damage, which is 553566, and that'll give us a total of 1,366,509 damage. Now, crit headshots are a little more complicated because now we have additive values in here. So the first set is going to be headshot damage and crit hit damage added together. So we'll have that, which is 1 plus 0 0.604, which is headshot damage, plus 1.135, which is our crit damage. Then also add in the 0 0.25 for the coyote mask. Now multiply that by out of cover, which is 1 plus 0 0.08 multiplied by damage to armor, which is 1 plus 0.14, multiplied by vigilance, which is 1 plus 0.25, multiplied by total weapon damage, which is 553566, equals 2,546,443. Non-crit damage to body shots is out of cover, which is 1 plus 0 0.08, times by damage to armor, which is 1 plus 0.14, times by Vigilance, which is 1 plus 0.25, multiplied by total weapon damage, 553, 566, equals 851,938. And finally, crit hit to the body, which also has a set of additive multipliers. We'll calculate total crit hit damage, which is 1, plus our crit hit damage from the stats page, which is 1.135, and then add in crit damage from Coyote's Mask, which is 0.25. Multiply that to out of cover, which is 1 plus 0.08, multiplied by damage to armor, which is 1 plus 0.14, multiplied by vigilance, which is 1 plus 0.25, multiply that by total weapon damage, 553, 566, equals 2,031,872 damage. Now that we have our four numbers, let's make sure our calculations are correct. I'll put the totals up on the right-hand side of the screen and call them based on the type of damage to coincide with the on-screen damage notification. Headshot damage, 1,366,509 is red. Crit headshot damage is 2,546,443 is orange. Body shots are going to be 851,938. They're blue because it's damage to armor. And crit body shots are 2,031,872 and they will be orange. You'll notice as we go through this that there is a, a very slight rounding error, and that's it. It's like one or two points off. Remember, I chose to use the total damage values from the stats page in order to get the numbers as close as I can. If you have a talent such as Boomerang, then you'll need to use the weapon's base damage because Boomerang is an example of a weapon talent that is additive with all weapon damage bonus and specific weapon damage bonus. You'll end up with a slightly larger rounding error, but it won't be enough to throw the calculators way off. It would be nice if Massive would put the whole base damage number in the UI instead of just the rounded version of it. I know I threw a whole bunch of information at you, Hopefully I did it in a way that makes sense to you. And now you can determine for yourself what is the highest damage build and not just have to listen to someone tell you, this is the best AR build. Because guess what? Math doesn't lie. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below. If you have any questions about the calculations, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitch.
at twitch.tv slash maniocrity where i stream friday saturday and sunday evening starting at 10 p.m eastern time until next time agents happy hunting